So this is all about canning greener green beans. Rebel canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. And we all can use a little bit more of the old ways these days. Welcome back Rebel Canners. I am freshly back from Ohio where I got to some, spend some time in the superb test kitchen. And I got to do th well, four things. First, I got to test my four-year-old milk and see what the pressure vacuum seal was still in. That video will be out soon. We got to can watermelon jelly with a new friend, Julie, whose husband works at Superb. He's an engineer and she shared her recipe with me and that was a wonderful time in the kitchen and then we made blueberry lime jam and lastly when i was in ohio doing the very first su summit a lady came up to me and asked me if i'd ever put zinc in my green beans to keep them greener and i'm like no i'd never heard of that and so i did some research and i wanted to in their test kitchen do it under lab conditions and then we are going to save those jars and see how how long they stay greener um, because they definitely did stay greener um, the usda says you can have 100 parts per million in your canned foods and that's what a lot of companies use to keep their canned tin can canned green beans greener and so i wanted to try it with the home canned and it was a success and I think you will enjoy watching the video and seeing what we learned. So here you go. Let's start. Hi everybody, my name is Mark Laughlin and I want to welcome everybody to the Superb Industries Test Lab where we're uh, doing some different batches of jellies and other products today and, and testing out our lids with the help of Rebel Cannon. So here we are um, with my new friend Mark. We are standing here together, stamping green beans and getting them ready to can you take both of the ends off and then you stamp them into bite size pieces and it's always a good time when you're stamping green beans and you're visiting and talking and just really enjoyable to do um, unless the background is a lot of loud <laughs> factory so I'll spare you that sound so we got our green beans all ready and washed and ready to go into our jars. And today we're going to use pint jars. Um, and they are, of course, superb brand pint jars. So we've got our green beans in. We have added our salt, half a teaspoon of salt per jar. And now we're going to add some zinc to each jar so some of the jars we're adding zero zinc some we are adding 15 milligrams and some we are adding 30 milligrams these are a 30 milligram capsule so we're going to go ahead and add half a capsule in some and a whole capsule in others so we can compare the difference um, after they're done okay. We then filled the jars with boiling water and right, wiped nice. off the rims and put on our lids and rings. So now we're going to put them into our canner. We're using the Superb Kitchens All American. We'll go ahead and vent for 10 minutes. And I didn't get any pictures of it when I was canning, but I did do it for the recommended time, which is 20 minutes per pint. Or 25 per four. The camera doesn't show it as well as it shows up in person, but on the left is no zinc, in the middle is 15, and on the far right is 30 milligrams of zinc. And you sure can tell when the no zinc and 30 are side by side 
that there is a big difference, but it's even more startling in person. Definitely going to be adding the zinc to my green beans from now on. On the Superb website, save 10% with the code REBELCANNERS10. Like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell.